In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a page in PBWorks. Now, you have to make sure that you are at the course website, georgehwilliams.pbworks.com. You have to make sure that you are logged in with the account that you requested earlier in the semester. So you notice up here in the upper right hand corner, you see that I am logged in. Now, click on create a page. Type in whatever you want the subject of your page to be and then click create page. Now you have an interface that allows you to add some kind of content. So let's say that I want to create a list of recent articles about Gulliver as a character. I'm going to start typing and then I might go into my My EBSCO host account export the articles that I found about Lemuel Gulliver as character and then start listing them down here just as a bibliography as you would if you were using something like Microsoft Word. Now, like Microsoft Word, this is an interface that gives you a word processing toolbar up here. So you can make things um, formatted however you like. So if it's a novel, example. MLA tells us we want to italicize it, so I'm going to italicize that. If it's an article title, then it needs to go in quotation marks. Uh, and But let's say that for whatever reason you might want to highlight something uh, you can use this to highlight, just as you would with a pen or, um, or a marker. Once you have made some changes, click Save. All right? Now, anybody else on your team, or me for that matter, can come to this particular page and edit it. How do they do that? Well, look up here at the top. You've got a View tab and you've got an Edit tab. So let's say that I am not the person who is working on this page. It's one of my team members. My team member can come and click on Edit, and they can add another article. Now, they've seen that the highlighting has continued. And maybe they don't like the highlighting at all. So they're going to make a change to something that you wrote. So how do you know who has kept up with or who has made which changes to which things? Well, that person has made a change. Now, in this case, it was just me. But let's imagine it was somebody else. There's this link right here, page history. Anybody can view the page history and it keeps track of the different changes. In this case, both of the changes were made by me, but if they were two different people, it would say who it was made by. And let's say that you hate the changes that this person has made. Um, you can look at your version, okay? And then you can view the current version, which is in, reflects the changes. You can revert back to this version. Are you sure? Yes. Now, take a look at the page history. We have a third version. Version one, that was you. Version two, that was your team member. Version three was you saying, I don't like what you did, team member. Now your other team member, their version is still there. So you haven't destroyed anything. Uh, for the most part, this is an interface that will let you make changes and keep track of those changes and who made those changes. So you don't have to worry about um, writing in here, you know, here is my smart article by Professor Smarty Pants. This article was contributed by student so-and-so. You don't have to write that stuff. If you want to make any comments with your team members or with me about the document, put them down here, add a comment. And what will happen is you end up with a list of different sorts of comments about this document. So what kind of document might you create? Well, that's up to you. Um, you can do any number of things for the collaborative assignment in a collaborative writing environment. Uh, you want to make an appointment with me? Uh, first of all, meet as a group, talk about what kinds of things you might do, and then make an appointment with me, uh, go over your idea, I'll make some suggestions or give you some advice, and you can then go forward. Make sure you let me know if you have any questions. That's it.